over the past couple decades in the Chesapeake Bay, we have seen big improvements in our water quality, but there's still a long way for us to go in order to have a totally healthy ecosystem. One of the major actions towards getting us to these healthy goals is the EPA's total maximum daily loads, or TMDLs. You can kind of think about this as the Bay's pollution diet. It's the total number of pollutants that we feel the Bay can take and still be able to meet those water quality standards. I've been living in my house now for maybe 23 years this July. The water when we first moved in was super cloudy all the time, year round. Uh, I didn't really worry about it. Uh, I love water skiing. That's one of the main things I love to do in the Bay Area. It's water skiing, tubing, kneeboarding, all that fun stuff. But water skiing is significant to me. I'm not a fisherman. But over the years, I started noticing oysters growing along the bulkhead here. And now, I just assumed that was normal. I would not seen any oysters anywhere nearby for a long time. And then in September, about two years after we moved in, the water is as clear as any lake I've ever seen. As part of our Lynn Haven River Basin Ecosystem Restoration Project, one of the things we're going to be looking at in our three different habitat types, so on the oyster reef, the wetlands, and the submerged aquatic vegetation habitats, is not only looking about how those, the grasses and the plants and the oysters we're providing habitat for are doing, but also all the critters that make those habitats home. And looking at those and seeing how many we have, quantifying that to see that impact, but also looking at that over a longer time frame. We can monitor these reefs for up to 10 years, so we hope to see kind of the number of critters that we see at year one. We hope to see more at year 10. Um, I've seen a lot more dolphins back here in the recent years. There's something they obviously want to eat back here. So that's pretty cool. The dolphins were not here initially. Um, I've seen more skates, just a lot more marine life. So improved water quality, we all benefit from it. Clear water where you can see, it's just more, it's more inviting. The Chesapeake Bay watershed is 64,000 square miles, all the way from New York down through Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, DC, down to us in Virginia. So everything that happens hours away from us affects our water here in the Hampton Roads area. So all those pollutants from stormwater runoff, agricultural runoff, air pollution, and other factors affect our water quality here in the Bay, including excess nutrients, excess sediments, and other things that impair our water quality. I would hope and dream that we would have enough artificial reefs, enough oysters here, so that year round, regardless of man's influence, because it is man's influence that clouds the water, have enough oysters around here thriving and surviving and, and procreating and spreading, that the water remain clear regardless of how much we and our boating activities stir it up. This project is important to me personally, not just because I'm a biologist, but I also live in the Lynn Haven River watershed. So I'm out there on the water with my friends. I'm out at the restaurants there in the water. I love to eat local oysters, local fish. And so protecting this river, is not just important for the ecosystem, but it's important to me and everyone who works here at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Norfolk District.